Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here I'm with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be counting down and ranking all of the final girls from the Friday the 13th franchise. Yes, I thought this would be a, a fun idea to t give each, uh, each of these ladies a time to shine and show what the, we like and didn't like about their performances or just how they dealt with Jason in general. But uh, before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video or any other video on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, hit the bell notification, you know, all that. You guys aren't new to this uh, YouTube business. So let's go with number 12. At 12, we have Lori from Freddy vs. Jason. Yes, she makes up the bottom of the barrel, my least favorite uh, final girl in this series. And mostly that is due to the fact that I just plain don't like this character. Something about her, I don't know if it's the actress or the way she was written or the performance, it just has never really stood well with me. It's, she's just a girl that, you know, I kind of wish that she hadn't lived, that she had died and, and, and maybe somebody else in the film had lived. It just, uh, she just has never really done much for me. And so that's why she is at number 12. And then at number 11, we have Jessica from Jason Goes to Hell. Yes, uh, this, she is, she is an adequate, uh, final girl. She's definitely much better than Lori. But her overall performance in the movie and you, she just doesn't really stand out that much either. They kind of, you know, overpowered her a little bit, making her uh, Jason's like niece. But you don't really feel it through the performance. But having said that, I mean, she's, she's fine, I guess. I don't really, I don't really dislike her. She just doesn't, she just doesn't stand out to me compared to some of the other ones. So that is, uh, at number 11, we have Jessica from Jason Goes to Hell. And then at number 10, we have Whitney from the Friday the 13th remake. And while I think that she is a completely fine uh, final girl, I, I don't really have a lot of negative to say about her. I think that the way the, the movie was written, that she spends most of the time like kidnapped and like tied up by Jason. We just don't feel that draw and attachment to her. And then there's the other girl in the movie that you know you wonder if she's gonna be the final girl. It just it got a little got a little confused. I blame the writers more than the actress for for that. But but having said that, I just you don't feel the connection with Whitney that maybe you do with uh, some of the other girls on this list. So that is why she comes in at number ten. And then at number nine, we have Pam from Friday the Thirteenth Part Five: A New Beginning. And while some of some people that do these lists they don't really like Pam all that much, you know, I I I do like Pam. I think that she is she's a good final girl. I mean, I would say. 10 through 6 on my list, they're all, they're in the good category. I don't have anything against them. They're just, they don't stand out as much as maybe some of the, the ones in the top five. But uh, Pam, I think she's she's solid. I, I, I like her. It, I like her performance. It's just, she's, she falls victim to not being as good as some of the other ones. So that's why at number 9, I have Pam. And then at number eight, I have Rennie from Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. And again, I would I go back and forth between her and Pam on who was better and who was worse. Uh, while, while most fans don't like either one of these films all that much, I personally do. But having said that, I, I actually like Rennie's overall performance more than Pam. I, I think that she she is definitely the more memorable of the two, and that is why I have her at number eight. And then at number seven, we have Ronan from Jason X. Now, if you watch my Friday the 13th rank videos, you will know that I had this movie as my least favorite film in the franchise, so it's kind of surprising that I have her all the way up at number seven. And my reason being is she's actually the best character in that film. 
uh, the way she, the way she approaches dealing with Jason and and her overall knowledge of him is is actually one of the better ones in the series. Uh, I mean, she could make a legitimate case to maybe be in the top five, but how bad that film is just brings it down a notch. So the best I could do was make her at uh, seven. So at seven, we have Ronan from Jason X. And then at number six, we have Chris from Friday the 13th Part 3. Now, uh, some, some fans might have her in their top you know, two or three or maybe even number one. You know, I've heard some people say she was the she's the prototypical, you know, Friday final girl. And I, I can see that there's a lot of truth in that. But for me personally, I find her to be a little annoying and and I just I can't sympathize with her as maybe some of the other ones in that are higher above in the list. But having said that, she is in one of the better Friday films and and all things considered I, I think that putting her at six is uh is pretty good so at number six we have chris from friday the 13th part three and then at number five we have tina from friday the 13th part seven the new blood and she is the one that is basically carrie in the friday the 13th franchise you know, she has all the same kind of powers and abilities that Carrie. They're setting up a, a Jason versus Carrie type movie here. She is believable in the Carrie role. And even though the film is not one of my favorite films of the series, I definitely think she gives a pretty standout performance, especially within the context of that film. She is she's definitely the best thing going for that film other than Jason. So uh, there we go. At number five, we have Tina from part seven. And then at number four, we, I have Megan from Friday the 13th part six, Jason Lives. Now, even though she maybe doesn't do as much as some of the other final girls on this list, you know, and she has to her benefit or detriment, you know, depending on how you want to look at it, she has Tommy Jarvis also there in the movie, and he kind of is the one dealing with Jason for the most part, and she's just kind of there to help out and to you know hopefully not die and have, so so she doesn't do as much as you know maybe tina or even rennie or pam as far as the encounters go but having said that her overall performance in the whole film she's very likable and megan's performance in that film is definitely one of the more enjoyable as aspects of it so that's why i had to put her in my top five and i had her at number four megan from Friday the 13th part six, Jason Lewis. And then at number three, I went with Alice from the original Friday the 13th. Now, even though her performance it, itself isn't super memorable over the course of the franchise, I definitely think there's, you know, other girls that had more, you know, memorable performances. The simple fact that she's the one that decapitates Mrs. Voorhees and and then she, you know, so she has that iconic scene. And then she also is the one that has the, you know, she's in the boat and, you know, young Jason comes up and pulls her into the water. Like, just those two moments are so iconic within the franchise that I had to put her in my top three. And uh, so even though as a whole throughout the film, I, I wouldn't say she's maybe as likable as, as, a good majority of the girls on this list you know just the simple fact that she's in those two huge moments in the franchise i had to put her in my top three so there she is at number three alice from the original friday the 13th and then at number two i went with trish from friday the 13th the final chapter and i i can't say anything better about trish than she just plays an integral role in the death of jason in that film which he actually does die in that movie and if it wasn't for her standing up to fight him and trying to protect her brother which you know trying to save Tommy in that movie and and the, and the interaction between those two siblings it just it's it's just a really memorable and strong performance that uh, Trish gave in that film and that's why I had to put her at number two 
And then at number one, we have Ginny from Friday the 13th Part 2. Yes, Ginny is most memorably known for being the one that puts on Jason, uh, Mrs. Voorhees' sweater and confuses Jason into thinking that she's his mom. She was a child psychology major in college and she was really, she really put that into play in the final scene there. And the simple fact that the Friday the 13th video game picked up on that and that is part of you know the game play mechanics and it all started with Ginny and I just her overall performance the sympathy you know that she displays towards Jason earlier in the film it's just it's she just had to be number one so she is without a doubt the best final girl in the Friday the 13th franchise so there you guys go. There is my list of the best Friday the 13th final girls. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And again, if you guys are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, why don't you rank your list down in the comments? And, you know, I'll, I'll talk back with you guys and, you know, we can get a good discussion going. But uh, thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys all again soon. Uh, take care, everybody.